What's going on? Welcome back to NASCAR He Evolution. It is episode 25, I believe, and we are heading into race 11 of season 2 at Kansas. One of my favorite mile and a half. Can't really remember the quality of it in this game, but we'll see how qualifying goes. I am starting to get drowsy, but I'm like so intent on recording tonight that, you know, it's almost always late at night when I get to play, so. I just need to make sure I both have good time to record and also, you know, be able to get a good sleep, so. My melatonin is kind of making it a little hard to do both. So again, I know this is the one track where in some games the high side actually works, but we're just going to stick low. Or, you know, just have a lap where we don't mess up. It feels like we have a ton of straight lines so we... I don't know how well we're going to actually match up though. That felt pretty good. 30 second, I mean, I've seen worse. I didn't want to see what the guys in the 20s were running there. 3 through 9s. I feel like I could have gotten a top 30 if I had done a bit better there. We'll see. There's the commentator mentioning food again. That's been a bit of a funny, like, running trend lately. And commentators just keep mentioning food. But it's like, who doesn't love food? So I don't blame them. I do hear a lot about certain venues having Greek food. Though the one, uh, the one Asker race I've been to was the 2021 Ally 400 in Nashville, and uh, that it, the fan experience there was awful, and that included the food. It wasn't really bad, it was just kind of mediocre, it was just kind of like your average con concession stand food. And it was very expensive, as you would expect, and the wine was crazy, and apparently they ran out of water or something. I think they ran out of bottled water. Like, that's not good. I remember my dad had to wait like in line for like 45 minutes to get Hold something, I can't even remember. Like it was not good, and the parking wasn't good either. That was their first race there, uh, with the Cup Series, so I don't know if it's gotten better the last couple of years, but... I didn't really get to see what, you know, I hear certain tracks have great food, and, you know, the Mars for hot dogs, even though I don't like hot dogs. I've heard Talladega has good food, and I'd like to go there someday, but... And some other tracks, I always hear about the food. But Nashville, it was Stay very... Still there. This was also during peak COVID era, so it wasn't quite as... You didn't get the full fan experience, so... I'd love to go back to the track again sometime, it's just... Very Stay rough on, on me, since I'm there. disabled, can't really walk that Hello. much. Like... It's not be a bit too deep, but... Like, on the way back from leaving the track at Nashville, I was already exhausted. It was hard for me just to sit in those crappy bleachers for three hours or whatever. Longer than that, because there was a ton of cautions in that race. But, leaving, I literally almost collapsed. My legs were trembling. I had to stop. I didn't have any water. Someone was kind enough to hand me a bottle of water. But I just felt terrible. I looked pathetic. But part of the reason that it, I walked more than we should have is because the parking was so bad. It, it was mostly just a dirt field. We couldn't figure out where we parked. So we eventually just stopped and let our dad find the car. And I don't know how we managed to find it, but we did. And then it took forever to get out of there because there was no clear parking directions. And 
because it was our first race, we just assume that's how all of them were, but apparently most tracks actually know how to do it. And apparently Talladega has, like, like, um, trolleys and stuff to take you around, you don't have to walk as much. So that sounds great. When I, wow, just talking about my life experience, my one real-life NASCAR experience. And uh, it's gotten us through five laps. And one extra thing about there, it's like, the race was also pretty boring. And if it wasn't for my favorite driver winning, who is right there in front of us, Kyle Larson, not Almirola. No, it's not Almirola. But uh, Kyle Larson got the win there. And that made it just barely worth it. And I did get a little bit of merch. So that's cool. But yeah, I want to go back someday to a track. I just hope it goes better. So I hope you enjoyed that little story. It uh, made things a little entertaining on our racing. I did not even notice we're in the top 20. When did that happen? Did I seriously race to the top 20? While talking? Because I wasn't paying attention. Or did a bunch of people pit? Did I seriously just... Ooh. Sure. Okay. Nope. Still running a lot better than I thought I was. For sure. Okay, well that was stupid. Alright, we got pit strategy. We only got a few cards fitting. But I think I want to be one of them. I also want to repair to be safe. We'll go to the back. We know that I could pass people, so. Yeah, issues for Newman and Reagan. Let's pass before the start finish line, sure. It's like, the other guy just didn't go. Left us plenty of room. My goodness. So yeah, let's see. When I'm even when I'm actually paying attention, how much better can I do at getting through the field than I already was? Or will it be worse? Sometimes I do worse when I'm paying attention than when I'm playing in what I call autopilot mode. That happens in a lot of games. When I'm not specifically thinking about what I'm doing, I do it well. But if I'm focused on it and talking about it, I'll mess up a lot more. So when I was talking about the Nashville story, it uh I was in autopilot mode oh, playing yeah. the game. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing, but I was racing pretty good. But now we're just gonna see if I can focus. Probably not. Still there. All clear. Man, uh, I was thinking about the Nashville story again. I guess one extra thing is, the big thing people wouldn't like by that one race was, they didn't allow coolers because of this COVID stuff or whatever. Not sure the exact reason, but because of that, we didn't really have many waters on us, so that made it hard for me as well. Water seriously helps with energy, and I find myself thirsty a lot. I think I have, like... Dry throat, dry throat side effects from some of my medication. I don't know, but I almost always have water at my side. I do right now. Usually when I'm recording, I do, so it's literally right next to my arm, which is holding my controller right now, so. Too bad when you're racing, you don't have many chances to take a drink. Like, I'm tempted to just pause, but I know I have to keep going. So we're not quite in the top 20, but I think we might can get one, get a, get a finish up there. Still there. Stay low. Still there. Still there. All clear. Car high.
All right, three wide with Patrick and Medell. Still there. You're all clear. But we got him. All clear. Now I'm concerned if we can catch up to these next guys or not. Boyer looks a little slow, but with crap like that, we're not going to. Unless, I mean, McDowell can get a push going or something. Still there. Not sure how well that works in this game. In other games, you can kind of sort of work with the AI, and they even have the draft partner ability. Well, they'll follow you. We're rolling back now. Top 25 is still okay, but if we want to do better in points, we can't be finishing here every race, so. And we definitely can if we want to win the championship, so. Last lap. Yeah, we're not getting the top 20, but we'll see if we can make something happen. Still a decent race, all things considered, but it sucks that we definitely had the pace to do a little bit better than where we are. Because of me and Bush are getting into Still it, there. I'm going to have to settle for not a top 20. Can I steal 20 seconds? I got him. Yeah, we'll get him next time. So that's, that's good, but still nothing, nothing too great. Battle for 22nd isn't all that exciting, so. Got me some water. Casey Kane won by half a second. Oh no, Casey Kane is in the playoffs. I don't think that happened last season. Okay. Oh, and I, I calling them, I'm calling them playoffs a little bit ahead of time. You know what I mean, though. Casey King was on fire. What happened? That that that's different. Okay. It wasn't like he lucked his way up there. He had a lot of speed. Anyway, now we go on to Dover, and I'll save the standings for later. Hey, now I got me an upgrade. So we have the next set available. Let's see what we're looking at. EDM, but I don't like electronic dance music. Chassis, blah, blah, blah. Looking at some big horsepower improvements. And then the fabrication shop. So that gets us, uh... We're looking in the six digits now for upgrades. But I will get a horsepower improvement again next, which is great. 2.8 to 3.6, that's pretty big. So let's hope we can get 1.2 million sooner than later, but for now, let's head it over. And beating this race, eating, finishing this race will get us one third of the way through season two. I'm still wondering if I'm going to need to do a third or not. Because I'm looking at the pace of getting upgrades. We have reached the halfway point in upgrades after season and a half. Which really makes me think it's going to be about three seasons to, to get them all. That's what I've seen from other playthroughs anyway. It's almost like it's designed for you to take three seasons to win. And you just kind of play until you get there. It's like, I don't know how much my skills actually affected the raid that we're upgrading. That's something I've thought about. But whatever, we are going to qualify at Dover. I said earlier that I like this track in Kansas. Because Dover, like I used to not like Dover. And I don't like that we got that we got last. <laughs> By four chance. Okay. Dover, Delaware is a Kansas. The veterans and rookies alike. This one mile concrete oval is a self cleaning racetrack. Its bank is so high it's described as a roller coaster ride by the driver. Momentum is a key to winning at Dover. Miles the monster lurks around every corner, waiting for you to make a mistake. Yeah, that's a pretty good description. 
I just always feel like the way the corners are on exit especially, it's really easy to run into someone or the wall. And that's the main reason I used to hate this track. But I've come to find it to be really fun in pretty much any game, and the IRL racing there is pretty good too. So, it's probably the track I've changed my opinion on the most since first watching NASCAR. Which, I don't know if I've mentioned in this place before or not, but 2016, it was my first year watching NASCAR Weekly. I kind of grew up with it there, but never really cared about it, like, cared about keeping up with it. And then towards the end of the 2015 season, I kind of just decided, like, hey, it'd be cool to keep up with it. I've always liked it, so. I'm 20, by 2016, I was into it, and I haven't looked back. So, it's even more special to start my playthrough, or start my, uh, the first playthrough on my channel being this game, because even though this game is not that good and the game itself doesn't mean a lot to me, the 2016 season means a lot to me. And as we go through the Heat series, which the series as a whole, I really, uh, means a lot to me, my life, but we'll get to that later. But as we get through these games, you'll also see the field start to progress to the future as well. Too bad when we get to the next gen and all goes to crap. Oh, because you have a game that doesn't work, and then the next season is just an expansion to the last game, and then the next one probably doesn't exist at all, so... As of recording, this is 2023, we're supposed to get a new game this year, but it doesn't even sound like there's really one development right now. So who knows what's gonna happen. We'll probably get a new Switch game, though, that's just kind of something that's randomly been happening. Yeah, at least Monster Games is still making bangers. What about Lost Sprint Car Racing is doing well? Too bad it's not on PC, because a certain company bought out Monster Games, took the credit, and also made it where it won't be on PC. But it's coming to Switch, so I can play it. And hey, I could theoretically do videos on that game because I have a capture card. Like, I've considered doing Switch stuff before but the quality isn't the greatest. And honestly, it probably wouldn't be that game, but I don't know. Just something to think about. I also need to think about how I'm driving so I don't kill people. So we are again Top 25 speed, that seems to just be where we're running every week. Murray's so bad, is that really an improvement over where we were last season? I just wonder, even with the max car, would we be competing for wins? Like, I guess I have done some quick races where I was pretty good, but I think I might have just chosen easier tracks by coincidence. I don't know. I haven't done much quick races. The main reason I have is just to, like, get the speed points and unlock stuff or whatever. 20 to go. I spent a little bit of time trying to unlock the challenges because I am considering doing the challenges in, like, a separate mini series once I finish the career or maybe even before then. But that's not set in stone, but I might do the challenges. Carbo. The main thing making me not want to do them is that I have to unlock them. There's also the DLC ones, which I don't have. It's like, you can't get the DLC anymore. If this one even have it, I know Heat 2 did, and you can't get it anymore, and it makes me mad. Because they had a lot of spotter packs that I want to try out, and you can't get them. I mean, I... There might be a place on the internet to just download the files, because, like, I know you can do that with Heat 5. It's like... E5, you don't really need to buy the DLC. Just one person needs to buy, then they get the files, and they can just send them to you when you just put it in your DLC folder in your NASCAR 5 game files. Same for Heat 4. I assume, I assume that would work for all Heat games, so... Who knows? Maybe I can try to get the DLC in here? But this game's not popular, that I don't know if you could even find it anywhere online.
because like I would pay for it. I've paid for all the ones that I can, but there there's some of them that now I can't, like I literally can't. I don't even know if you can buy the Heat 3 and 4 DLC anymore of Heat 5. They still kind of care about Heat 5, so... Because I realize people would still rather play that than Ignition. And they keep saying an, up, an update's coming out for it, but uh, I still doubt it's happening, and if it, if it does, it's going to be awful. But who knows, that's probably going to be our game for this year. It's just an Ask Our Heat 5 update, which, hey, could be good in theory. Hey, that's the whole thing about monster games. Good in theory, terrible in execution. But anyway, or not monster games, the multiplayer games. Monster games is good, and I continue to stand by that. Multiplayer games is the bad one. Anyway, we're we we can't really get anywhere outside of can't really get anywhere inside the top twenty-five. So, and we're getting pretty spread out now. I'm getting very sleepy, so... We still got 12 laps to go in this thing, too. I'd like to get a sub-25, it's definitely possible. You may also notice I haven't beaten my record, which was set the last season, so, like, I should be beating my record every race, man. The fact that I'm not after these extra upgrades is kind of concerning. I have a pretty big horsepower upgrade is within our reach, so I can't wait to get the 1.2 mil needed for that. If that doesn't help, then I have no faith, but... It's like a 0.8% increase over the last one. Seems Here like... Like, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it, 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 it is significant. Reminds me of Mario Kart, where a lot of people think the coins are useless. But each one you collect gives you a slight speed boost, and while you don't really notice it, if you compare it, the, the speed between no coins and ten coins, the difference is pretty big. It's worth it going out of your way to collect them. Or in time trials, at, at least. In, ti in time trials, you try to go for ten coins, and then your speed overall is just much better. I don't know how we got to Mario Kart, but yeah. It's kind of how I feel the same. It's like standard horsepower should improve your time, no matter what. But I haven't really been seeing that with this race compared to my track record. And once my track record was set, my track record could have been set in another mode. I didn't think about that. I don't know, but somebody was having issues there, so we might get a top 25 after all. I would like that. Uh, never mind. I will block, though. Y'all know I race oh, dirty. Hi. There is my spotter. Three We're three wide! I will send it. Stay low. Still there. He kept pretty calm about that. Oh. Now I don't know if I can even get a top 30. Three second gap over Brian Scott, though. Which is good. You know we're doing bad when you're losing to Brian Scott, so... I just can't do the corner anymore. Do we have to... Oh my goodness, I'm one lap short. Yeah, there they go pitting. We, we have to pit. I didn't even notice. Don't think my tires can make it either. Do I take two or four? 
That's tough. I don't know if they're gonna take two or four. There just isn't much of a way to tell. Yes, I know. That's the leader I'm trying to think. Here. Is that the leader? I don't know. I'm thinking they took four, but I'm waiting for it to take two either way. But we gotta quit now. That was close. I don't think we got a penalty. No repairs. Two tires only. And enough can uh, enough fuel to get us. I hope half a can can do it. I'm usually terrible at strategy, especially in this game, so this could go wrong. Well, I'm in last. Did they do fuel only? Don't tell me they did fuel only. It's like we couldn't make it. You saw the tire. I don't know, maybe some of them are still in pit road, but that's not a good sign. They they didn't take any tires. But look, we're flying. That's 12th place and we're flying. Man, that freaking sucks. Now we blew the strategy on that one. Because of the stupid AI. Like, look how much faster we are. Oh, I might can get a couple spots. Hey, we got Chase Elliott, yay. But still. What an unfortunate ending. I, I have to keep that in mind. That the, uh, the AI do not like to take tires, so. Another thing that throws me off is that the later he games, they lean towards taking tires, so. What the crap? It might have just done the... It might have just glitched. I f did it do the thing where it like inverted the Wii lap cars? Because I've seen that before. Even then, that'd be a weird finishing order. So I don't know what happened. But your top three Danica, Patrick, Madabit, Adetto, Michael McDowell, Paul Menard, Brian Stock. What happened? I don't know what happened. So we have two weird winners in one video. I would say Danica is like Danica winning is more of an upset than my win was. Oh, but I won the I won a big race though, so I don't know. But that's gonna make the standings interesting. Danica's barely even in the top thirty for that win to count. Kane is actually in the top sixteen on points though. So is Blaney now. Blaney, Blaney will be knocked out though, it'll be top 14, so. Look at this. This wins list just got a lot more interesting. And we're even beating one of the winners now, so that's cool. So we have Menard in the playoff picture. Jimmy's pretty low as well. And again, I, I feel like the needs wins and the needs points should be swapped, but you have. Notably, like Ryan Blaney's out, just barely. Larson's out. Elliot's not doing good, you know. So Danica Patrick gets stolen a playoff spot, as long as she can hang on to top thirty points. Case Kane's locked in as well. So, um, what a season! Pretty interesting. I'd say the last one was interesting, and this one's shaping up to be just as good. So. There we are, one third of the way through season two, and the Coke 600 will be our next race. I hope to see you there, but for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Master E Evolution.